Tip number five is that if a one is stamped into the dead wax, then the record must be a first pressing. And this isn't true. This actually indicates the cut number. And I'll just quote here from a mastering engineer, of course, if an A1 lacquer fails at the manufacturer, then an A2 lacquer will be cut. The resulting disc will still be a first pressing. When vinyl was the major release format, we would cut five sets of lacquers, A sides, then B sides. Each were marked A1 to A5 and B1 to B5. All of the records manufactured would be first pressings.